Hey, what's up everybody? This is uh, Tanner with the School of Day Trading. Just want to do a quick video on using Finviz.com to do some uh, nightly scanning for your stock trading. So we'll go ahead and start by going to Finviz.com. And the first thing when you see, when you get to Finviz, you see a, a different charts of the Dow, the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and, and a lot of different uh, analysis of the stocks that are trending. We're really not going to pay too much attention to that uh, for this first video. The first thing we're going to go to is over here in the left where it says screener. So I'm go ahead and give that a click. And it's going to bring up a lot of different, uh, different options for different uh, screens and scans we can do. The first thing we're going to do is go over here to price in the far right. And for a basic scan for those who like to trade penny stocks and lower price stocks, that's, I'll start with that first. We'll go ahead and go to under $2. And as you see, it's going to immediately do that for us and eliminate any stock over $2. The next thing we'll do is we'll go to current volume right here. And for me personally, when I'm looking to trade a lower price stock, I want to see it have volume over $200,000 at the minimum for the day. So this is going to find stocks that had over $200,000 for this trading day, uh, Monday the 23rd. And so that's all we're going to do for that for right now. The next thing we're going to do is go to technical right over here and as you see a whole another variety of options pop up for different scans we can do we're gonna we're gonna ignore most of those for now and we're just gonna go over some basic scans so the first one is pattern under pattern this is a scan I love to do at the very top of pattern you're gonna see it's gonna say horizontal support and resistance this is great for people who like to trade channels and, and really like to short stocks off resistance or or go long on the on the support so it uh, automatically pops up down here. And there's a way to make this a lot easier than having to click on all of these charts to see what they, all these uh, symbols to see what the charts look at. You can go right up to here to charts. You can go and just click that. And it'll do that for you. So we'll quickly, uh, we'll quickly go through a few of these and, and see some of the analysis it provides for us. See if we can find a decent one. As you can see ATEC double bottom already it kind of lists that for you if this were to come down it could form a triple bottom could make a good bounce in that 120 range it's really nice it lists the different trend lines the different channels um, let's find another one real quick that we could look over let's go ahead and go to the second page all right we'll go to GMO We'll look at GMO real quick. If it'll load. There we go. So the chart that it has for you, it's not too bad. It's not something I'd recommend to do all of your technical analysis on. Generally, I'll use Finviz and I'll have stockcharts.com open with it with all my indicators and different analysis I like to run entered in. So if I see a chart I like, I'll enter it into stock charts and go over it. But just as kind of a quick glance. You can see with GMO, there's this strong bottom trend line right here that it's bounced off multiple times to uh, basically three times. So this is one that's had two down days in a row. We could look for it, add it to our watch list, look for it to come down to this, this lower trend line, this $1 range for potential bounce back up into the 120 range. Um, so you can see another really nice thing is Finviz will list the short-term trends, but it'll also try to go out a little further and list the long-term trends as well. So let's go ahead and we'll go back to the very beginning. We'll go back to screener. And that was a basic scan I like to run for penny stocks, but we'll do one for more higher price stocks. So we'll go to price again. We're going to go over $30 for those who like to play options or, or just like the, the more big board stocks. For current volume for these ones, we're not going to go so low. We're going to go over $1 million, which is still low for some, but it, it'll get you. It'll get by. So we got over, over $30, over $1 million. We're going to go to technical. It's going to load. This time for uh, for pattern, there's another. So you can see all these. These are I recommend going through and uh, playing around with all these. But one of them, the ones I'm just going to go to for now, is channel up. This is going to find anything that's channeling up. Something I love to play channels. We can find bounces off the upper channel line or the or the lower trend line. So it's going to list them all for us. We hit charts again real quick. Make it easier for us to see. Now, as you can see under charts, it's got Apple, ABT. This is another stock I love to play. If this one were to come down and bounce, you can see it's formed a little bit of a, a trend line here. If it were to come down to this lower trend line, I'd for, sh I'd for sure be looking to buy this one to go long. But I, 
I don't see this one pulling back that far, but it's something to keep on watch. Here we go, ADM. We'll look at ADM real quick. As you can see, ADM has this lower trend line. It's kind of been trending up along with this channel here, but mainly what I'd be looking for is this one right here, this lower channel right here. As you can see, it's getting close. It, start, it pulled back Friday, and today it kind of formed a little bit of a doji, but if it were to continue its downtrend, down towards this lower channel, it'd be a great stock to look to play off of that up towards the 45, 46 range. If not, if it were to can, if it were to have a reversal and go back up to this uh, upper trend line, it's one to look for to go with puts or or a or to short back down to this 44 range as well. Always be careful though when when stocks barely pull back and head back up towards this channel. A lot of times they'll have enough momentum to break through and and for, and start to form a new trend line. So it's something to keep an eye on. Go ahead and find one more real quick. Let's look at look at this one, ALSN. ALSN is starting to be to become a candidate for a short. As you can, it kind of has a little bit of a of an ascending triangle to a degree, so it is something to keep an eye on out. If it starts to pinch this and and maybe doesn't come back as far and, and works its way back up towards this upper trend line it could break through that and start to head upwards but if not I, I could see it pulling back it's something that I wouldn't necessarily short at this point because this upper trend line is is coming up I would look for more to come back bounce off this play it long up towards this upper trend line sell before that resistance and then really keep an eye on it because as this trend line gets up further and this top one goes over we could see a pinch and a, and a breakout on that ascending triangle. So that's something that could become a double play if you if you get it off this lower trend line, sell it before this resistance, let it pull back a little bit, little bit more, and it may break through for another buy on the breakthrough resistance uh, for a play up to the 32 range. So that's a, a basic overview of finviz.com. It's a free website. It's great to use every night to do your scans for the, for the next trading day. If, if any of you have any questions on on different scans. I know I just did two basic ones, but if you have any questions, you can post them in the comments. If you haven't followed us already on Twitter, go ahead and give us a follow at the School of Day Trading. We, uh, we'll take any questions on anything. This is just the first of a lot of videos to come on different trading techniques. I'll be sure to do ones on stockcharts.com, different uh, technical indicators I use, uh, maybe some live trading setups for day trading. And uh, thanks for watching the video, and please subscribe and like the video if it, if it helped you in any way, and, and have a great night.